Welcome back to another episode with Melissa on Easy Meals. Today we are making a shrimp boil. It's amazing, it's delicious, and it doesn't take that long. So make sure you give this video a like. Stay subscribed because I'm gonna have new content coming. I know it's going slow, but I'm just warming up to this process, so don't leave. Stay subscribed, let's go. All right, so what you need for this video is you're gonna need some shrimp, some butter, a lemon, some corn, some sausage, some potatoes, can't forget garlic, and your seasoning. All right, guys, so we're gonna take our shrimp first and we're gonna go ahead and put that in the dish. So I've got a bowl of shrimp. Pour that in like that, add some salt and pepper. Then we're gonna take our sausage. I'm gonna try to do that little fancy cut that you see, little side cut. And you're gonna put this in here as well with your shrimp. Then the corn, we're gonna cut in half. Let's see if I can get it. Well, actually, I'm not gonna get it. Cut it. We're just gonna <laughs> break it. I can't even break it though. We gotta cut a little bit more. Ugh, like that. Now the corn we have to cook. I already have the water behind me boiling and the oven is set to 350. So don't forget to do that while you're carrying this here. You don't wanna forget that. Try to cut the corn in the middle. And then it will work a little bit easier. All right, I think that's enough corn. You don't need a lot of corn. I'm only making this for two people because only me and someone else eats shrimp. No one else does in the house. So I'm making a small shrimp boil. All right, so now we're gonna take the potatoes. We're gonna add them to our water. Got some salt in there as well. Set your timer for at least, say, 15 minutes because you want the potatoes done and you want the corn done as well. So we'll be back in 15 minutes. All right, when your timer gets down to almost 10 minutes is when you wanna add the corn because corn doesn't take very long and it's really good. So you're gonna add the corn now into your water. Just like that. Okay, so we have that boiling, looking good. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. Gonna add some butter that now it's optional up to you you can use regular garlic you know fresh garlic or you can buy it in the little container already minced so we're gonna take a teaspoon of that i'm gonna drop that on top of that and we're just gonna cook this up a little bit okay as you can see the butter is almost melted completely melted you don't want to burn it because then you'll burn the garlic actually sucks so once it's done you're gonna go ahead and turn off the stove and you're just going to move it up here for now. All right, the potatoes and corn are done. So now we're gonna finish this up and I'm gonna show you how it's done. So here are your potatoes and corn. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the corn in here. Hot, have a, a fork, but it's okay. So the potatoes are small. I'm gonna cut these in half. Just in half. Like that, and then we're gonna take those and pour them in here with everything else. Put our cutting board aside. Now we have everything in there. So now we're gonna take the butter and garlic and we're just gonna pour that on top. It's not a lot. The only reason I'm doing this is just to get everything kind of, you know, a little wet, sticky, so that when I put the seasoning on top, everything sticks. So we're just gonna mix that around. So now I'm using Old Bay seasoning. I'm gonna sprinkle that on top. Now you can measure this, but you know, I just put it until I feel like, mm, that's good enough, you know? To let the seasoning tell you. Mix that in. Then I'm going to use this one, which is Old Bay, but it's lemon and herbs. Spread that on top as well. And make sure we get the shrimp down at the bottom, because it's at the bottom. Mix that up again. Already smells delicious. Then I'm going to take some smoked paprika. Add that as well. And then again, just mix it, throwing stuff out. Probably gonna add a little bit more Old Bay just to the mix underneath. Now I took a stick of butter and I cut them in like little halves like this. So I'm gonna take these and I'm just gonna put them around the pan like that. Boom. Next step, we're gonna put foil on it. We're gonna put it in the oven for at least 13, maybe 10 minutes. Shrimp doesn't take very long to cook. But as you can see, it's beautiful. Foil over. want the steam to stay in and the butter to be completely melted and you will have dinner served. All right, so it's ready for the oven. See ya in 13 minutes. The oven is beeping, so now it's time for dinner. Yay! Here, now. 
All right, are you guys ready to see this amazing boil? Shrimp, boil, shrimp, boil, shrimp, boil, I don't know, but it's a shrimp in a casserole dish in the bin. Yummy. I know that you could smell it, but you can't, but I wish you could smell it because it smells scrumptious. Look how amazing that looks. Now I'm gonna take my lemon, just squeeze a little bit of lemon on top like this. And dinner is done. Simple as that. Took me about, I'd say prep time, maybe five, 10 minutes. All together, 30 minutes maybe, if so long take. Not too shabby. Thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a like, please, and thank you. Also comment down below. I'm starting a new little trend this month. It's gonna be exciting. Hope I can do it. Also want to let you guys know, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate you sticking with me. Appreciate the new subscribers. And until next time, see you guys.